do. Do you know what today is? Well, uh, let me tell you straight off the bat, it is Tardy Tuesday. Because we out here being tardy, I know we ain't on time, we a little bit behind, but that because this goddamn game needs to get patched, they get fixed up, updated, whatever the hell they're doing, installing their Bitcoin mining machines on my computer. I don't know what the hell they're doing with all these updates every damn week. They're like every other week, every other week, they gotta, yo, Fuzzy, how is it going, Fuzzy? How was it? But uh, for real though, first things, that guy, that guy we raided, he seems really nice. He seems like a really great guy. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad he's the uh, one you chose to raid. It was nice. I was very, very uh, glad I could help out with this charity. It seemed very wonderful. And I was more than happy to support it. Because we love, we love supporting charity. We love doing that chaotic good. Which is why, yep, yep, first things first. Um, you want to support charity. Not you specifically, Fuzzy, but you in the general sense. And you have the means to, you want to support, you, you want to do good. Please, please consider donating to our current fundraiser, which is, um, Bread. Project Bread. That's it. Project Bread. <laughs> Project Bread. Please, they, uh, they're very great with uh, helping reform policy in Massachusetts and specifically getting people resources they need to, you know, have uh, food and drink in their plates, cups, and bodies. So if you would like to support a wonderful charity, I would highly recommend you donate to uh, Project Bread. And I'm actually, I'm thinking about uh, everyone who donates. They, uh, they get, you know, submitted into a, to a, a raffle for, or like a giveaway for one of the silly hats. That's what I'm thinking. So every, t so everyone who donates gets a chance at winning a silly hat. That's what I'm thinking we do. But I, I don't know if that's a great idea. I don't know if that's enough incentive to get people to give charities their hard earned money. But I think that could be fun. You, you could own one of these hats potentially. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm not, I don't know if I'm sold on that idea. I need, uh, I need some, <sighs> Yeah, I need something to tell me that that's the way to go. But the only thing that I need to know where to go today is where the hell are we trucking to today, baby? Let's get this started. Because you know what today is. It is Mother Trucking Tuesday. So let's begin, shall we? I, I, there we go. Beautiful. I'll do it. Oh, hell yeah, Fuzzy. That's what we love to see. Everybody be like Fuzzy. Be like Fuzzy. Donate a hundred dollars to the American Heart Association. That's beautiful, Fuzzy. You're doing, you're doing some wonderful work with that. Game change detected. What God the hell you're doing with this? You're the one who made me change the goddamn game. Ugh, oh, now I got a quick travel. What the hell is all that? Holding hearts. I uh, don't care. I just need a job. We gotta start trucking. All right, drive. Wait a second, I gotta hit, I hit the, I did not hit the appropriate button, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie, that's okay though, we'll just, we'll get right back to that start menu in a moment. But for real though, I might actually, I might make that a thing. I was gonna work on that today and iron out the details today, but I, I was watching your stream, I was watching Kirsten's stream, and I got a little bit distracted, and so I did not do a lot of the stuff I actually wanted to do before this stream started, so, whoopsie doopsie, that's okay. Little nap, what the hell? No, I just, I don't, a quick job. Give me a quick job. We need ourselves a job here in this economy. 149,000 big ones. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so much money. Oh, that is so much money there. But, uh, mm, might be a little too much money. I don't know. Might be a little too much for a little old trucker like me. So, uh, let's see what other jobs. Whoa, 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 Nelly. Oh, Nelly. That, that took me back a whole lot more than I wanted it to. All right, let's just. 73,000 Redding, California to vomit to New Mexico. This seems like a decent trip. This seems like a trucking experience that we can partake in. So before that, I gotta flip over the camera because I'm looking the wrong way. Yeah, I know, the struggles of uh, making your setup look legit. Look at that, now I'm actually facing towards the game. Doesn't that make more sense? And now we can begin our new job. What are we, log stacker? Stacking logs of doo-doo? Nah, -doo? No, probably logs of wood. That would make a whole lot more sense. But Fuzzy, with all that manure you were showing off on stream earlier, all that poo, -poo you got from the poo, poo mod, I got poo, -poo under mind. And I also got poo, poo in my intestines. And wherever the hell hell's poo, poo be residing? 
In my toilet? No, because I flushed that thing. You don't flush your toilet out to a doo doo. You are sick. Sick son of a gun. All right. Oh, wait, that's not the right button. There we go. A nice little garage. You love to see a truck in its natural habitat known as the garage. So let us go forth on our journey. To the left, to the left. Everybody trucking their logs to the left. Ah. Also, I had a little bit of a headache before starting the stream. So that's also another reason why I was like, I don't feel too bad about waiting, this, waiting for this game to update. Because uh, my head hurts just a wee bit. So I'm a-okay with waiting it out. And now I'm feeling a little better. Just a little bit better, though. <laughs> so I'm... I may or may not be a little bit less loud today. Move it, come out! Well, we shall see, though. You never know what you're gonna find. Life is like roadkill. You're never gonna know what you come across on the street when you're going down it. You ain't never gonna know. You might see a hedgehog. You might see an opossum. Hell, you might even see a whole goddamn... Oh, no, no, okay. I ain't. Oh, there we go. See that? We had to show them respect. They they had they were on the road. I was not on the road yet. I was in the driveway out of the garage. Hello! Hugh! Hugh! How are you doing? It's been a while. I hope everything's okay with you. I was getting worried. Like, okay, okay, maybe not like. I was a little bit worried. I was like, man, Hugh, hope he's doing good. But I hope you're doing good, Hugh. How's it going? Hope everything's going wonderful. And, and guess what? I know, your birthday's still coming up. We gotta, we got, we could celebrate your birthday today, but I think your birthday's actually tomorrow. You know, no, 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 we can stay up until midnight, and then we can celebrate your birthday, see what happens. Did my first exam for marine bio, hell yeah, Hugh. Hope you kicked its ass. Hope you kicked its ass, Q. But if not, I hope you just did, I hope you did better than okay. <laughs> the very least, I hope you passed. My birthday, oh, your birthday isn't tomorrow, then when is your birthday, Hugh? When is your birthday? Now I have no idea. I thought it was tomorrow, but I am very wrong then. When is it? Now we have to know. If you don't mind sharing. Sat really Saturday? Damn, I was off. But it's it's coming up. It's close. It's close. Oh man, I don't know. Because I was uh I was looking back at stream highlights and I saw the Oh come on, don't eat that stop sign, don't eat that stop sign! You better not hit that uh, damn other sign there either. There we go. Is when I celebrate. Perfect. Oh, is what you celebrate. Wait, Saturday is when you celebrate. Then, then what is the actual date of birth? Now I am confusion. Unless you celebrate your birthday on the day that you were born, that would make a whole lot of sense. That make a whole lot of sense. But I was looking back at uh, at old clips uh, the other night. Does it? I won't say on Twitch. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. You don't, you don't got it. You don't got it. You don't got it. Who knows? Who knows? I don't. I got no idea. No idea. Nobody. Everyone. Whoever thinks that you know Hugh's birthday, you don't, and you're wrong. Unless you are Hugh, then you do know. But if you're not Hugh, you have no idea. You'll never know. It's a mystery, just like history. Because history is a mystery, but it sure as hell ain't a riddle. Time is a flat circle. We are doomed to repeat our trucking mission on Tuesday. I may have obscured my date to you at first. <gasps> oh, wow, you that's messed up. That's messed up. <laughs> no, that's okay. Because I remember looking back at that at that clip. I was like, because you were saying, oh, now I'm finally uh, 24, right? Because I didn't trust you as much as I do now. It's all good. It's all good. I wouldn't trust me either. Seeing me dressed up like a freaking, uh, like a truck. <laughs> like a trucker, you know? That wouldn't trust me. Would you? That was more of a hypothetical question. That was a direct question to you, Hugh. But we gotta, we gotta sing happy birthday to you at some point. So that's good. Good. I, I'm glad it isn't tomorrow, unless it is, which we don't know because we have no idea. So, uh, because I wasn't gonna, I wasn't planning on streaming on Wednesday because I, I don't really stream on Wednesdays too much. But we got, we'll be probably like uh, most people who ask my real name find out is Herbert. It's a Herbert, <gasps> just like Justin Herbert. You got that long, flowing Justin Herbert locks? Oh, come on, come on, don't, 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 you, don't, 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 you. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Which it isn't, obviously. Yeah, because it obviously wouldn't be Herbert. It obviously isn't Herbert. Who would ever think it's Herbert? No shot, no shot. 
Your name isn't Herbert. It's, uh, it's Manatee. That's why... Oh, no, maybe your name is, like, Manuel. And you're, like, Manuel Manatee? Maybe. Maybe. Who names their kid Herbert? Well, Justin... Well, Justin Herbert, that's his last name. I'm, I'm, I'm just now realizing that. Well, I know who names someone Herbert. There's this video of a, uh... Of, like, a really, really tiny cat. A really, really teeny, tiny little kitty cat. And that cat's name is Herbert. Like, who sees this tiny little kitty? He's like, oh yeah, that little, tiny little thing? Name it Herbert. Nothing against the name Herbert, but that's not a name you give a little teeny, tiny, little itty bitty kitty witty. Because the, the lady in the video goes, hi, Herbert. And the cat goes, me! <laughs> like, really high pitch, and it's adorable. If you just look up, hi, Herbert, you'll see it. It's a very, very lovely video. Very lovely video. Was it a hairless cat? No, it was not hairless. It was not Bengus. So, if, speaking of hairless cat, first of all, I'm gonna go do here. You gotta wait your turn. You gotta wait your turn, little car. It's okay. It will come eventually. <gasps> I am L A R two one. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. And guess what? Guess what? You have just earned yourself the right and the privilege and the glory of choosing. One of our spectacular silly hats on the silly hat wall. Because we got a lot of silly hats. You can't see them all from here. If you would like to choose a silly hat, let me know. And I'll go back there and I'll actually show them all off. But if not, I can just pick one for you. I can just pick one for you. 106 followers. Right, 106 followers. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? I feel like just the other day we were at a 102. Because <laughs> we were. Now we're at 106. Ah, oh, bonkers bananas. Ex that's that exponential growth. That's that unlimited growth. Oh no. Oh no, I'm late. You're not late, Code Takashi. You are just on time, my friend, because today is Mother Trucking Tuesday. No more FNAF. No more FNAF for today, because today is Mother Trucking Tuesday. I actually got a question for you, Code Takashi. Because, uh,. I enjoyed, I enjoyed uh, getting scared. Maybe, okay, maybe not in the moment I enjoyed getting scared, but looking back, I was like, that was kind of fun. If I wasn't busy with college, I would show you how it's really done. Yeah, Hugh, Hugh, expert streamer here. About to start streaming 24 seven. You got that, you you, you you know how it's done. You know how it's done. But, God damn it! oh, oh, look at that. So, oh, I still knocked it over? How the hell did that happen? I got four followers, six followers in four hours? I don't, I think I've only gotten that many followers once, and it was like a big raid. So I've never been able to do that on my own. What's the point? You're right. You're right, Kotakashi. Getting distracted. As you can see, I am not only easy, easily swayed, but I'm easily distracted. So use that against me if you'd like. But but please don't use it for bad. So the question is, what if? Because that was kind of just supposed to be a one-off thing. Because I don't really like getting scared and horror stuff. It's not my vibe. It's not my thing. But what if we made it? A very commonly occurring thing. What if you need to find the right niche Korean game? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. The Korean games are all, where they just love to just curse in the most vile ways. It's is lovely, absolutely lovely. But I don't, I'm not about like finding my like. I could like focus on one thing and be like, all right, I'm gonna be the best American truck simulator streamer there has ever been. But that's uh, oh yeah, Dwarf Fortress before was popular. Korean and Japanese horror games would make him piss himself. It would. Like, especially... Uh, like, I... I'm not gonna... Like, so, that, you're, you're right. I gotta get back into that. So, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Because before we had Fricked Up Fridays, where the plan was I would watch my favorite streamer, uh, Idol, my favorite human being ever, Tom Grassi. Uh, he's wonderful. If you like football, and if you're a Green Bay Packers fan, uh, you don't have to be a Green Bay Packers fan, but it sure does help. Tom Grassi is incredible. Uh, Tom Grassi. So... Um, I, we had fricked up Fridays because I would drink with him and then I'd get a little drunk or something and then we'd stream and I'd just be kind of like, uh, uh, you know, they're so much better than American horror games. I could see that. Where my grandpa, <laughs> growing my grandpa would be growing your grand. Oh, growing my grandpa. That's the name of the game. So because I'm thinking this freak because up. Uh, Fricked up Friday. Just trying to turn, turn into frickin' frackin' Friday, cause like, it's frickin' frackin' Friday night. We can do whatever we want for as long as we want, cause I don't have work the next day. But what if, instead of frickin' frackin' Friday night, we had... What if we had, uh, Friday Frights? Beautiful Friday. Something like that. 
What, what if? What if on Friday nights we get together? Girl grows an. A girl grows an artificial gra drunk only <laughs> game. I don't. I don't get because I because I didn't like drinking that much. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like uh, showing up on stream drunk. It just. It didn't feel right. You know. It didn't feel like the vibe. So, I. 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 I mean. I. I if it's for the right occasion, then, you know, of course. Like, I'm not against it. It just, it wasn't, it didn't feel like something I wanted to keep doing. Especially if I'm trying to do a horror game. Like, me drunk, you can see, there was a stream where I tried playing Minecraft drunk, and Minecraft, this is a game I, I guess I, well, I used to know in and out I knew that game like the back of my hand, and I couldn't play it for shit drunk. Because I am just bad at gaming in general. Horror games are very fun. That's, so that's what I'm thinking. Because I did have fun. I did have fun. There's some... That I have no English title. I mean, as long as I can play them, as long as I don't need to know whatever the text is, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So that, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. We do like Friday Night Frights or something. Fearful Friday. How does that sound? I'm um, gauge an interest. How, how would you like that? Every Friday night, I get scared. I get scared and piss myself and scream. I screamed literally every goddamn time there was a jump scare. Fight. There wasn't a single time I was like, oh, you know, I was like, ha! Every single, and every single time I screamed, I like shoved my freaking hands in my face. Ugh, a stream I missed after I woke up yesterday. Aw, thank you, Kotakashi. I appreciate that. You're just, you're great. Thank you for, thank you for uh, joining that Breath of the Wild stream last week. Also, special honor here. Hugh, uh, I don't know if you know Kotakashi, but they are the 100th follower. So, Hugh, you might be uh, one of the, like, you might be like the second follower and also the first person who donated, but Kotakashi is number uh, numero cien which is thankful for that code Takashi. thank you again it was, a, it, was a, it was a great time so but for real but for real but for real hmm right hmm hmm maybe one day we'll have our wait who's the 69th follower hmm question mark I got no idea what that is sorry okay one second I gotta like focus on trucking for a moment so Friday Night Frights that, that, those, are the, those are the two things I really want to gauge interest on. Thinking of getting Tears of the Kingdom or getting something for COD tough to say. I mean, you said you're only 20 bucks away from Tears of the Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you just beat Breath of the Wild, so maybe it's time to move on to Tears of the Kingdom. Or maybe you're done. Maybe you're just like, I'm good with Legend of Zelda, this new gen of open world Zelda. Maybe I can just move on to focusing on COD. So it's up to you. It's up to you. So th those are the, but those are the two big things I want to really gauge interest on. They're Friday Night Frights or whatever we're calling it. If you'd like to see me play a horror game Friday night, because then we can stay up really late and then I'll get really spooky scary. You're going on a two-hour flight in Florida in like two weeks. I might get tears of the kingdom. Ah, that could be fun. The game's called Do You Understand? That's a JoJo reference. That's a lot of characters for Do You Understand? Well, to be fair, Do You Understand is a lot of letters. It's hard to explain what it is. Well, you know, if I actually, you know, look into it and play it, then I feel I can understand. So, yeah. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Because I, I, I'm not going to... Because I don't like playing horror games. They're, I don't like getting scared. I mean, it's a fun experience overall. But, like, me, like, getting scared... You know? I, I, I'm a scaredy cat. I'm a little baby. So, if that's something you would like to see, then hell yeah. We'll rock and roll. We'll do it. Because so far, I've only been playing games that I like, you know? Games that I find fun, amusing, entertaining, relaxing. So, it, it, it'd be, it might be nice to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. It only took me, like, three or four days to beat... Really? It only took you three or four days to beat... No shot. It was pretty boring after I finished, because I didn't... It took you three... Literally, this, my stream titles for Breath of the Wild are called I Still Can't Beat Breath of the Wild, because I can't beat that goddamn game. I'm always getting lost or distracted or doing other stuff. As you can see, I'm easily distractible. So, yeah. It's sort of like a game you have to stop the ghosts. Visual novel. Of course it's a visual novel. I like games that are too scary. Most I just like are creepy. See, I wouldn't know. All I know is that anything scary, creepy, it's not It's not my vibe. So I'm fine with trying any type of horror game. If it's a visual novel, if it's something like Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, I'll give it a shot. I love Little Nightmares, even though I'm, I've never played it. Well, I don't know what the frick that is. Sorry, I've got to play. That's why we'll have to learn for Friday Night Frights. Oh, so that's the that's the that's the second thing I'm trying to gain interest on, and the first one is if uh oh come on come on come on come on ooh 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 because we're trying to raise money here. We're trying to raise money for this charity, uh, Project Bread. Come on, just don't don't go up the hill. Let me play it real quick. You do whatever you want to do, C Cable. You. 
It's uh, it's your birthday week, or is it? Do you, were you even born? Are you even human, or are you a manatee? We don't know these things. We don't know these things. We can only make assumptions. So, the other thing is uh, to raise money for charity. I'm thinking that every time someone donates to charity, their name gets put in like a little. Maybe like visit. That'd be cool to do it like with like physical style. Like I actually write your name on a little piece of paper. As, as like a thank you and I'll maybe stick it on the wall somewhere but then as soon as we hit a hundred then we do the raffle and then whoever wins gets uh gets a uh, one of the silly hats from the wall so I was thinking maybe do like a random silly hat and then I just choose a hat I wouldn't feel too bad about getting rid of because I feel like people would want the Peppa Pig hat or the minion hat or like one of the classics one of the iconic hats but I'd be devastated if someone wanted to take the Peppa Pig hat away from me you know that's that's like one of the hottest hats on the wall like the Pikachu hat, Lucario hat. I don't know if I could get rid of something like that. So we'll, we'd have to we'd have to figure that one out. But you know, I would I would if it is to raise money for charity, then of course I would give away a silly hat. Especially if we actually raise a hundred bucks. Like we raised hundred and twenty five dollars for our last uh, charity fundraiser, hundred twenty five bucks, which is phenomenal. Thank you to everyone who donated for that. But that was also because Tom Grassi came and raided, donated fifty bucks. So he already completely, he completed the fundraiser. Johnny Barks came in and donated 25 bucks and we had another. So I don't know if we'll get that type of luck again. So we'll, we'd have to wait and see. So that's why I'm thinking we use the uh, the silly hat raffle fundraiser to, uh, you know, get some money to do some chaotic good. I think that could be awesome. I think that could be freaking fracking awesome. Let me, let, let me ask you, if you were to win Nothing to do with the raffle, nothing to do with the fundraiser. If you were to have any of the hats on the silly hat wall that you've seen... so I mean, yeah, I really haven't seen too many of them, and they're so far away right now because my head is in the way. And you haven't, Yeah, you haven't really gotten to see too many silly hats. What if there's a silly hat that you would want? I'd like to know. Just to... Because everyone's probably got their own preference. But a lot of people love the Minion and Peppa Pig. So... What other hats are there? Pikachu? Pikachu is a big one. I don't know Pikachu. You're getting like 200... Ooh, ooh, you're getting so you got that's what you gotta do. You gotta use those twenty dollars to I can see why you I can see why you're debating on which one uh which one to get. So maybe maybe go for uh Breath of the Wild or maybe go for cause like you said, I mean Breath of the Wild got boring after you beat it. So Tears of the Kingdom, a fresh new start, a whole new experience, whole new journey. Maybe go for it. Cause now you can play on the plane, you can bring your switch to play it anywhere. But COD, you'll be as soon as you get back from Florida, you you can play COD a whole lot more. So it's a what, what are you in for? The the immediate the immediate return of playing Tears of the Kingdom, you know, wherever you want, or the long run, where that thing you want from COD, you'll be able to have for you know, indefinite. I mean, you'd have Tears of the Kingdom indefinitely, but you'll beat the game. You might get bored. I'm gonna spend my money in Florida, and Tears of the Kingdom just seems way harder than Breath of the Wild. Really? Tears of the Kingdom seems harder and and boring. Damn, I'm I suck at I got breath of the wild like Damn near six years ago, and I still haven't beaten it. So tears of the kingdom is gonna take me a decade God mother trucking damn God mother trucking damn That's sad. That's sad Like the thing like I saw the uh, the twitch category for tears of the kingdom and It's already only down to a few hundred viewers Which you'd think that tears of the kingdom still being the new Legend of Zelda game would still have like thousands of people watching it on twitch But no not at all it's crazy how games just die down after the hype is built up and then you're just like well we've all beat the game we know what it looks like we know what you do we don't need to watch this game anymore uh -huh. things they come and they go they come and they go but Ganondorf or however you spell his name looks really cool Ooh, that's nice see I don't even know what Calamity Gammon looks like in this game I have been trying really hard to avoid spoilers and so then I was like you know what I want to get into the Breath of the Wild move let's put on like 50 if you actually didn't know about Breath of the Wild. I was like, okay, they're probably going to start with some, you know, earlier stuff that gets you into it, and then near the end they might. Nope, like, fact number two is like, when you beat Calamity Ganon in his, like, third phase, and they just show it straight up, I'm like, well, god damn it. God damn it. But Ganondorf, I suppose, name looks really cool. I'm also watching a full playthrough that's 20 hours long. Man, my, if I was to do, a, like, a full, like, length preview movie, it'd be, like, 500 hours. Just because I'd get lost, and I wouldn't know what to do, and half of it would be me fucking around. So far, it's actually not as boring and bad as I thought. That's nice. But after, well, we gotta truck, we gotta truck. But after I watch the full video and playthrough, I'll, you know, decide if you're getting it or not. Well, like you said, I mean, 
after you beat Breath of the Wild, you, you know, it wasn't that exciting to you. So maybe after you watch the playthrough, you'd be like, eh, I think I've got my, uh, I think I've got my, uh, my taste of Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, I played it. How was it? How was it, Hugh? Was it to your expertise? Was it to your test? How was it? Huh? I remember why I forgot how to play. It turns out I have no idea how to play. That's a pretty, that's a pretty damn good reason. Yeah, man, I'm just kind of blanking on how to play this thing. You, you try to pull it up, you're like, wow, I guess I never knew how to play this thing. It's okay, we've all been there, Hugh. We've all been there. Like, picking up an old hobby, you're just like, man, I remember, I used to love this, but it was kind of difficult. I'm, I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. And then you pick it up again, you're just like, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I don't know shit, man. I don't know shit. But also, go to Kashi. Have a safe flight. Have a safe flight to Florida. And have fun. Have fun. I mean, if you're there to have fun. Just want to say that. It's in Japanese. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I don't know the instructions. I don't know which ghost you need to click and which to not. Oh, it's like a point and click game. And then, <laughs> so, so the actual, um, the controls are pretty self-explanatory then. But actually, the mechanics of the game, you're just like... <sighs> or, or or however you would react. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if we were to do the Friday Night Frights, play some spooky games on Friday night, and I'd scream and cry and piss myself, then uh, I'd, I'd, I'd preferably want to play games that I would know how to play. And I literally haven't played a single horror game ever aside from Five Nights at Freddy's at one time. So if there's any horror game that you even like a little bit, they think, oh man, maybe, well, this is too popular. I've definitely heard of this one before, you know? I haven't. I have no clue. So feel free. Yes. Well, like I said in the end, oh, wait, one second. Let, 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 me, let me drive my own lane for a moment. Like I said, in the end of Breath of the Wild, after you best the final boss, I like, I like the, the use of the word best there, and finish the game, it takes you to the title screen, and you can't, ah, uh, ah, damn it. This is why I gotta be focused on fucking trucking. God damn it. Oh. All right, we definitely got to reload after that one. Whoopsie doopsie. How far back do we got to go? Two minutes? That's not that bad. Two minutes? I'm, I'm, I'll take it. Better than like five, goddamn full five minutes. It takes you to the title screen. You can't continue playing the game, which sucks. I'm not going to pay seventy dollars for Tears of the Kingdom. Play it just for it to be like Breath of the Wild. That sucks. So yeah, watch the playthrough. Watch the playthrough and see after they beat it. It just takes them to the title screen, and then you can't do anything. I mean, maybe you can like reset the game after that but then you're starting back at zero and then maybe you can do like a challenge run you know like collect all of this thing or complete every uh of the shrines or something you know lamando is a good one it has english and perfect we gotta i gotta start writing these all down i'm sorry if i'm to start writing these down send send me some horror game suggestions send me some horror game suggestions if, if you you know, would like even ones you've sent earlier in the chat so i can see them right now just write them all down real quick let me know there's one you'd really want me to see. Really want me to see. Good night. Enjoy your trucking adventures. Ah, good night, Kotakashi. But before you go, would you like me to read you a bedtime story? You don't have to. You don't have to. But uh, if you would like, I'm always willing to read a bedtime story. If you're, if you're not into a bedtime story, then good night, Kotakashi. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate you chatting. Appreciate the suggestions. And uh, have a safe flight. Enjoy Florida. And uh, yeah, figure out what the hell's up with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. You know. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks again. Good night. Sleep tight. And don't let those demons bite. Have a great day, week, month, year, and rest of your life. Can't wait to see you next time. Have a good one. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna go watch that. No fun. Hmm. Not tonight. If you stream Friday, that definitely is perfect. Oh, if I stream Friday, we might be doing a horror game. We might be doing a horror game. Oh, you even said bye to Hugh. I appreciate that, Toko Takashi. Bye. Good night. Don't let... Ganondorf bites. Well, unless you want him to bite. Like, you're into that. I mean, literally one of the first things that you said when you joined the chat was like, alright, what if sex with Ganondorf? So, I wouldn't put it past you. But, but goodbye! <laughs> Get some sleep. Get some sleep. Alright, yep. Now that he's gone, we can, uh, sing you happy birthday. Ah? Uh? <laughs> I'd sing happy birthday even if he was here. I'd sing happy birthday no matter who is here. But, uh, I just want to sing happy birthday to you at appropriate time. So if I was to stream Friday, uh, I think maybe that's when we could do a little happy birthday for you, Hugh. A little bit of a happy birthday, if you'd like. I'm here. Oh, I know you're here. I know you're here. I, I know you, I know you, 
you said you were saying bye to them. I know you were saying bye to Code Takashi. Don't worry. I didn't think you left. Unless you did. See, I don't know. I've only got assumptions to work off of. Only got assumptions to work off of. I was making truck noises. But for real. So, Cable, you. Just literally the next time you come to stream, we can sing happy. We could sing happy birthday to you today. Just the next time you come in stream, whenever you want, whenever you freaking fracking want, man. <laughs> I posted pictures of me on on Twitter for like this uh, this event giveaway thing for a T-shirt from Twenty Six Shirts of me and these new shirts, and that only got one like. But I've got like four people liking my mother trucking Tuesday. Not tonight. Sure, sure, not tonight. Whatever night feels best for you. All right, it's your birthday. You get to choose. As long as I'm streaming, you can come in and tell me it's your birthday and I'll sing you happy birthday, even if it's not. Like, why? Why Why are people, why do people like the Mother Truck and Tuesday post? <laughs> but not the, the pictures of me and, and the shirts. I, I like taking these pictures. I think they came out pretty well. I can't, can't see it. Can't see it too. Ah! Ah! I'm doing funny faces. Doing funny faces. Alright. Well, I can't be looking at that because I don't want to crash and die. I'll send you a like. Oh, thank you, Hugh. You don't, yeah, don't worry. I'm not, most of the tweets I send get zero likes. And it's been that way for a long time. And I get those streams with zero people. It does not bother me a second, because I'm, oh, you fucking damn it. Oh, I gotta be focusing on trucking, man. We're having a fun time talking here. I don't mind, uh, wow, 44, that's, that's like this minute. So hopefully it happened before I crashed. Please, please auto save. be good, be good to me. No, 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 no. Are you kidding? No shot that that. All right, F7. It auto saved the moment I freaking crashed. Are you kidding? How? Why? Why? Oh God, that's now we have to go back the far. We got to go back to our previous auto save before we crash. God damn it, that fucking blows. Oh. God, mother trucking, damn. All right, we going back to truck mode now, baby. We getting serious. We trucking like there's no tomorrow now. After that, we ain't letting no scrubs trucking anymore. We give up, we about to focus. We about to truck so hard that my booty cheeks, every time they clap, gonna sound like an engine revving up, you know? i am be sitting in this trucking seat so goddamn high, so goddamn good. I ain't ever gonna know what it's like to stand again, you know? My feet gonna be on these pedals. Oh, all these beautiful pedals rubbing against my feet. That's what I'm gonna be like when I'm trucking. Like right now. All oh, these pedals. All oh, that. Oh, that's how good I feel. But yo, get your little truck gas out. You trying to cut me off on this lane, buddy? God damn! If I could be going a lot faster right now, I'd mow you down. But. I'm out of trucking damn day, I pace me. Why we're we going so damn slow right now? You better pick up the pace, you log lifting looking truck. I don't know if I'm liking the vibe of this truck. It's disobeying my wishes. How the hell are we going 39, 40 miles an hour on the highway? We gotta speed this up. Go, 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 go. All right, well, that ain't working. About a little bit of motivation. Hey, hey dear truck. What if I told you you were the prettiest truck I ever got down saw? It would make you a whole lot prettier as if you were trucking down your heart's content. Going as fast as I know you can go. I know you can go faster than that truck. I know. And I want you to show me. I said to like, thank you, Hugh. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, I know you're not on Twitter. I know you're not on Twitter. But thank you for stopping by and giving me a little likey. Yay! Now we, you doubled my, you single-handedly doubled my likes. Thank you. Look, it's my face. Because I got the, uh, the Buffa Buffalo shirt on. Because, uh, Josh Allen, the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills, was in a commercial with Peppa Pig. So it became like a, a thing. It became a meme. Like Josh Allen and Peppa Pig, you know, besties. They were just hanging out. They were chilling. Like, the, the, the commercial with, with, uh, with Tua and all those other characters was great. It was a great commercial. But Tua wasn't, like, hanging out with them, just chilling, having a fun time, you know? That's what Josh Allen was doing with Peppa Pig. They were just having a fun time together. 
like Tua's commercial with all those other characters, like Hey Arnold and Sir Patrick Stewart, who threw Hey Arnold like a football, you know? Uh, they, they were in it for life and death. They were they were trying to hike to climb and escape, you know, certain doom. That's why Sir Patrick Stewart is so, uh, so adamant about getting out of there. All right. Ah, oh, little trucker boy is getting tired. We're gonna have to put him to sleep at some point soon. But not too soon, because I gotta make you work for your, for your dollar bills. Big, big dollar bill. I'm doing a tribute to my favorite, aw, my favorite singer passed away. I mean, fuzzy. It's lovely that you're doing that, but I'm sorry. Favorite singer passed away. Who was it? If you don't mind me asking. Who is this, who is this favorite singer of yours? God damn that same goddamn truck cut me off again. Well, get no, damn, damn it! Ah, we're so close. We were this Toby Keith. Rest in peace, Toby Keith. I've heard that name, but I do not know him. I like I've definitely heard that name, but I do not know him. So I do not have any personal connection to him or his music. But rest in peace, Toby Keith. Ah, <sighs> sad. People die. People die. Sometimes someone you know, someone you really know, well. He sings Red Solo Cup. See, I, I don't know that. I don't know that. I, I'm not a very big music person. I mean, I love music, and I love singing, and I love being a goofball. But, uh, like, actually knowing music very well, that's not my thing. I'm not a very good uh, knowing and music person. Like, I, I for real could only name, like, two Taylor Swift songs on a good day. Because right now I can only name one, and that's Blank Space. Other than that... Wait, he is Blank Space? And I only know Blank Space because my damn Spanish teacher would always make puns about it all the time. He goes, what are you, Taylor Swift? I can name three. That's that's two more than me right now, Fuzzy, so you're you're doing great. You're doing great. And, like, I can, I know Adele sings Hello. I don't know anything else. I know Katy Perry sings uh, California Girl, right? That one? Because of the music video. That Yeah, because of the music video. Um, Like, I... I mean, Trouble in 20, there we go. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah, no, I, I, see, I, I've heard those songs, but like, off the, I couldn't name them. I, I don't know, like, that those are her songs. You know, like, I, like, knowing music is not my thing. Like, some of my favorite songs, I don't, I don't know who, uh, like, who composed them, or who wrote and sang them, or whatever. I just, I just got my playlist on Spotify that I like to listen to, you know, I like a song, and I'm like, this song sounds good. I'm like, oh, damn. I, I find out, like, three months later, oh, this is an Arctic Monkey song. I had no idea, you know? And then that's, like, the one song I've got liked from them. <laughs> uh, I gotta be better with that. I'm just really bad at consuming. I'm bad at consuming, like, all forms of media. Like, games? Uh, yeah. Pretty bad at games. Movies? Oh, yeah. No, I'm bad at movies. Penny, my adopted sister, is, is at work. That, that's, that sounds like you're talking about your adopted sister, Fuzzy. But that could also sound like a song name. Penny, my adopted sister, is at work. <laughs> that sounds like it could be a song. But good for Penny. Good for Penny. Getting that. Not just getting that Penny. Getting that whole damn bag. You get that money. Get, you get that money, Penny. Get all them pennies in. Freaking. Ooh. Rub them together. Because, uh. Nope. Penny. A.K. Oh. 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 That makes so much more sense. That makes mo <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put that together. Let's go, Penelope! Yo, you got you can go support Fuzzy. Like I I know people got things to do, things they gotta, you know, uh put their time and effort into instead of me. So if you if you wanna go support Penelope, you're more than welcome. I adopted her. I don't I don't know if that's how adoption works. Oh wait, this is my stop! <laughs> I don't know if that's how adoption works. I don't know if you can adopt a sister. <gasps> you don't. I do better not. You better not. Not to you. Not to you, Fuzzy. That sounded so mean. I'm sorry. I, I meant that to the car about to hit me. <laughs> All right, I kind of want to clip that. That was a, that was a little silly bit. I haven't clipped anything. This has been a good truck and stream. Like I, I usually don't have truck and streams that are this talkative and like this like much of not me being truck and just trucking. You know. Like, I, I, you, you, this is great. Thank you guys all for stopping by. Hugh, thank you for being here the whole dang time. I appreciate it. And Fuzzy, thanks for popping in and out, doing doing as you please. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you, Fuzzy. Thank you, Fuzzy. And again, thank you for the, doing that raid earlier. It was lovely. Meeting with that guy. I think he still might be streaming right now. He, he streams for quite a while. And he's, like, and he's, like, actually good. He's, like, actually good at games, so. He's a wonderful person. Wonderful person. But, yeah. Can you just adopt someone as, like, your... Let's say you 
okay, maybe the situation is like, all right, you're like, you're my age. Let's say you're my age. You're 23, right? And then you've got like some distant, there, there's some, there's someone that you know that's having family issues and then like, all right, they're going, they're going up for adoption. They're put up for adoption. I mean, if you adopt them, I don't know if you'd want to say that because maybe they're like, maybe like six years younger than you would feel weird if you were like their adopted father, right? Or their adopted mother or whatever. So could you adopt someone, but then not legally take the title as adopted father? You could be like, oh, I'm just their adoptive, uh, their caregiver, their, you know, their, their brother, their older sister, you know, just taking care of them, looking after them like a sibling. So maybe it, yep. All right. I guess maybe adoption doesn't work like that. I can see how that would make sense. Now that we've spoken it out and ration, rationalized it, I feel like that can make sense. So, but Fuzzy, thank you for adopting me. Thank you for adopting me. I appreciate it. Ah, <sighs> I've never, I've never been adopted before. But to be fair, I've also never put up, been put up for adoption. So how the hell you pull that off? I got no idea. I did that to me and also Penelope. I got no idea. I'm sure Penelope and I will get along as siblings quite well. Quite well. My roommate is my caregiver. You got a wonderful roommate for doing that. For doing that. Uh, per fuzzy roommate. I, I don't know what to refer to you as. Person. Caregiver person. Thank you for helping take care of Fuzzy. Or taking... Or giving care, how, how, however that's worded. Richard. So th wait, wait, Richard? No, cause we. I just the last person who followed me, aside from I am L A R twenty one, who I I they they just followed and didn't say anything. Uh, my last person who followed was Richard, cause I was talking to Richard in another stream. So maybe it's the same Richard. Maybe it's destiny. Maybe it's fate. It's all coming together. So, well, this one is Richard L. So I don't know if that's the same Richard you are referring to. Pro probably not. Probably not. But it's uh, it'd be nice to think. It'd be nice to think. Uh, Richard and I are connected. Have a special bond that goes across time and space and through dimensions, and whatnot. Nope, Richard Tratz. All right. Well, yeah, I know Tratz does not start with L. Tratz does not start with L. But thank you, Richard, for helping Fuzzy. Appreciate it. God, we love uh, we love supporting people, doing doing good by people. It's like how, uh, oh, I love that that's, uh, whoa, tumbleweeds. I love that, uh, uh, the guy earlier, that, that, a uh, charity he's fundraising for is actually for his community. I think that's lovely. Because, um, I'm just choosing kind of, not random fundraisers, but I'm not choosing one that's like, oh, this, this, uh, this charity specifically helped me out. Or, oh, I know this charity, or this charity is my community. I just, I looked through all the charities. I spent a long time looking through all those charities. And I just picked out one that feels right. It feels like if I donated to this, I could truly see that money going to good. So that's why we went with Project Bread. Because I feel like, oh, I donate them. I know that whatever money I give them is going to go help people. Which is why I chose Project Bread. So, again, another another reminder. If you, also, Fuzzy. Fuzzy, let, let me get your interest on this. If I were to do, like, um, would you want to win? Would, would winning a silly hat from my silly hat wall be incentive to donate to charity? Not I'm telling you, oh, Fuzzy, you better donate. You better donate. You know? But like, let's. Do, do you think that would be enough to get? I have a charity for you. You do next American Heart Charity. Oh yeah, perfect. That would be it. But we got to do that when we hit the next milestone. The next milestone. It's probably gonna be two hundred. Probably gonna be two hundred. So then we can raise two hundred dollars for the American Heart uh, Association. Oh yeah, fuzzy. That could be it. As long as it's integrated with Twitch, because then it's easy for people to access and donate to. Because I don't wanna. Like, all right, everyone, go to this link that I posted in the description. You know, I'd want it to be easy enough for people to see it, and they go, "Oh, they're they're fundraising for charity." Just like how you got a free T-shirt. Hell yeah, hell yeah! I love me free stuff. God, I love free stuff. I love my free recliner. I love my free second recliner. Oh shit! Speaking of free, sleep is free, and this boy got to sleep. So let's actually. We gotta figure out how the hell. Oh man, we just missed the nearest bed. God, mother trucking, damn it. All right. It's okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So I'm thinking maybe we could go to sleep here. Okay, that could work. That could work. Get some gas over here. How about sleeping over here? Okay, sleeping over there is gonna be an issue. So we're gonna sleep right here. But are we gonna make it there? I don't know if we're gonna make it. I do not know if we're gonna make it. A boy might pass out behind a wheel and cause an 18 car pileup. <laughs> That's okay, I've done the same exact thing, so. No harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. Aside from the fact that that would cause a lot of harm. <laughs> yeah, an 18 car pile up. No harm, no foul. No, everyone's okay. Just give a good old thumbs up from, you know, the inside of the burning wreckage. Everyone show me that you're doing A-okay. Oh, okay. That could have been. 
That could have been bad. That could have been the start of the pileup right there. Me not paying attention and knocking into the rail right there. It's okay. We're still up. We're still at it. But you know, I've donated to a, a few street, a few uh, charities in my lifetime, and uh, now I just get a bunch of stuff in the mail. No, 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 no! That's the desert. That is an uncharted desert right there. That ain't a road. Unless I say it's a road. But right now, that ain't a road. So we're gonna get back onto the pavement. So now, like, not me here, this address in Arizona, but, like, my family home back in New York, they get stuff all the time. Be like, thanks for donating. Here's a t-shirt. Here's... A I actually got a couple coasters that I brought over here. But they love giving you free notepads and pens. If I had a goddamn nickel for every time I got sent a free notepad, I would... I would probably buy a better notepad because the notepads they send you are cheap as hell. Guess what? I'm going on the left lane. I ain't dealing with all that traffic. This lane is my lane. This lane ain't your lane. And now I'm back in <laughs> side of your lane. I'm knocking you over and ruin it for everyone. This lane is only just for a truck. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll clip that one too. I'll, I'll do a little clippy right there. I had fun. I had fun doing that. You have the perfect game for you called... One second. One second. Called Titanic Disaster on Rec Room. Ooh. Titanic. Clipped. Huh, Buzzy. You didn't have to clip it. I was going to clip it myself. Don't don't you worry. But thank you. I appreciate it. But you, if there's anything you ever want to clip, ever, if there's a funny moment, a moment you thought was nice, like, oh, I like this uh, this uh, time we had, a little, 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 you know, experience, you're welcome to clip as many times as you want, you know? I don't care. You could clip a, a goddamn every second if you wanted to. It, it don't matter. It's just just do whatever you want. Have a have, have a freaking fun time doing that. So Titanic disaster on Rec Room. So Titanic disaster. So so the perfect game. In what way would you say it is the perfect game, per se? Cause uh, I, I thought I knew what the perfect game was for me, and then it wasn't. And then it wasn't. Where's Miss Olive? Olive was being a big freaking baby earlier, wanting to be fed a billion times. Huh. Okay. All right. I see her. She's. Let's see. Let's see if we can. You know, let's see if we can zoom into her real quick. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's do this. Cause I see her right now. She is chilling. Let's turn on the camera first. Let's get it to here. It is blowing. It is so damn windy today. It is storming. Okay. Turn on the camera. Gotta find the camera. I found the camera. Now I gotta find Olive. All right, let's see, let's see. Go this way, she's relaxing. Olive, my beautiful, adorable little kitty cat. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Damn it, the table's in the way. She's right there, she's right there, you can see her. There she is. There she is. There she is. Oh, little baby. Hey, kitty. Ah, oh, lovely little kitty baby. Let's see. Echo, turn on the lamp. See if we can see her better. Oh, look at how beautiful she is. Aww. Her green, glowing, menacing demon eyes. Oh, if you're not demonic, don't worry. I'm just saying that for goofs. <laughs> oh, I love the kitty. I love the kitty. She's a city kitty. She's sitting in the bucket chair. She likes the bucket chair because it kind of, ah, getting getting back into resting position. Olive, I don't blame you. You're you're a sleepy kitty. She loves being in like a sump, you know, like between my two legs, and she could sump into them where she's got support on the sides of her holding her up. She loves stuff like that. So she really likes the bucket chair. As you can see, it's kind of like going around her. All right, well that's enough of kitty time. That's enough of the kitty. Uh, let's just set this camera back to. It's me. Hello. But now it's going to be truck time, so let's get this goddamn camera out of here. Echo, turn off the lamp. Time to mother trucking truck, a mother trucking Tuesday. All right. Remember when that camera was my main camera? Yeah, I do too. That's all right. I, I like their new camera that we have. Although it's not as, I would, it's not as high of cool picture quality, I'd say. But it's got a much better field of view, and it's just... I like this camera better for showing off a specific item that I really want to zoom into. Just like Olive right there. Alright, everybody, get the hell out of the way. After that black car, I'm going through. After that little black sedan, I'm going through. I don't care what the hell anybody else got to say. 
I ordered it. Oh, you're waiting for me. I appreciate that. Hell yeah. That black car right there. Hell yeah. Campbell, you ordered a new shirt. Hell yeah. Can I get a hell yeah? A hell yeah? Hell yeah, Hugh. Love that. Hopefully the shirt is comfy and it, and it fits. Because I hate when you buy a new shirt and it doesn't... Like, the shirts that I just got, like, that you that you liked on on the Twitter that I posted, because I, I took a picture of me and my new shirts. Those shirts, they ran small. They ran small. Like, they were a little tight on me, despite them being extra large. I'm like, bro, extra large isn't supposed to be tight. Extra large ain't supposed to be tight. I mean, okay, good thing I got extra large, because if I got large, then it would be like a medium, you know? Ouch. 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 Alright, that was dumb. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully they come in the right size, because I hate that. I'm trying to give my hard-earned money to this. Bro, yes, E, enter. Oh, thank God we got it. Speaking of music, I'm seeing my favorite 60s group at concert on June 16th. Hell yeah, Buzzy. I gotta get another hell yeah. A hell yeah. Love that. I love that. I can't afford to be a Scientologist. That's, that's actually really damn cool. I love that shirt. Wear that with pride. Wear that with freaking pride. Make fun of sign. It's always, it's always okay to. We don't make fun of. Ev we don't make fun of anyone based off of attributes like race, religion, creed, gender identity, sexuality, nothing like that. But if you choose to be a Scientologist, yeah, I'm gonna make fun of you. I'm gonna make fun of you for being a Scientologist. So, all right. Oh, we're gonna make fun of the Scientologist meeting. There's gonna be a Scientologist meeting at your school, <sighs> bro. Hugh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear about that. That. That, that sounds like it should not be a thing. At, at like... What the hell? Oh, don't tell me we stuck. Oh, don't tell me we stuck in this bitch right now. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I ain't dealing with that right now. God, mother trucking, damn it. The Beach Boys? You're seeing the Beach Boys? Oh, I know the Beach Boys. I know the Beach Boys. Have freaking fracking fun there, man. Bro, we're actually stuck. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, no. Oh no. Please, please, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. No! Ah, oh, God damn it. But I know, I know the Beach Boys. Mostly because of JoJo. Jo JoJo, no, give me that Pokemon. Next Thursday, I'll begin my one man protest. But, Hugh, you gotta. Why can't we go backwards? What the hell is all this then? God, mother truck it down. Ugh. Hugh. Uh, no, you don't even need to. It it's not gonna be a one man protest. You step out there with that shirt. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. We made it out. We made it out, fellas. Now we out on the road again. Hell yeah. So. Okay, that's a whole lot of trucks. That I will wait for. That I will wait for. As soon as people see you out there, and then they see you in your Scientology shirt, go, Huh, that's a cool shirt. What, what you doing out here? Oh, I'm protesting literal Scientology going on right now in our school. Do you want Scientology to be going on in our school? You know, I'm sure you'll get people joining. I'm sure you got people joining. But, uh, no, it's like an actual cult. That's like an actual cult, kind of. No, nothing wrong with cults. <laughs> nothing wrong with cults. But Scientology, oof. Oof, 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 oof. It just, it's just not the vibe. It's just not the vibe at all. Like, Satanism, that's, that's based. Uh... A any other religion? Hell yeah. Scientology? That just ain't it. That just ain't it. And I'm sorry to anyone who practices Scientology, except I'm not. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, bro, I really, I've got to make this immediate turn and you're blocking that? Guess what? I don't care. We going trucking on through. No. You ain't telling me we stuck again. We were just stuck. How the hell are we stuck again? God, mother trucking, damn it. Oh. Oh. How the hell are we gonna get ourselves out of this one? I see why we're stuck. Because that other truck behind me wasn't patient and it ran into my backside. Oh. I know my backside is so alluring. But you can't be ramming into my behind like that. God, mother trucking, damn. Oh. Disgusting. We did it. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna do a little bit of ding right here. So, uh, I also wanna drink some. Uh, I wanna drink some water. I really gotta make the channel points a thing. Like, the channel point redeems a thing. Because I've got a lot of ideas and I'm not actually, you know, implementing them when I should. 
Because every time I step on my computer, I'm like, let me just pull up a stream really quick. Let me watch someone that I know is streaming, like, you know, Fuzzy or Hugh. If you gotta, if you're gonna be streaming, especially if you got that 24 hour stream going. And like, Kirsten was streaming today, and Penelope, you know, but uh, then I get distracted. Because, like I said earlier, I get distracted very easily. So I pull up the stream, I was like, let me just have this in the background. That's, that's also why, I like, if I'm on my computer, I want to be focusing, right? So I know if I pull up a stream, I, there's, a, there's a very good chance I'm going to get distracted and just focus on that stream and just talk with that person. But I got to be doing my work for this stream because I was supposed to do a lot before today. I had got a couple hours, and then before I knew it, they were all gone. So the only thing I did was uh, add links to... <gasps> that's what I was saying earlier. I was going on about this earlier, Hugh. When you said hairless cat, or was it fuzzy? Damn it, I'm already forgetting. Either way, somebody mentioned a hairless cat. And so I was saying earlier how in my description little boxes, I have linked videos. I have linked videos to the uh, to the little boxes that you can click on. So if you click on welcome, it's a very lovely video. Very lovely video for the welcome. So I'm sure you'd enjoy it. It's only like 30 seconds long, so I'd recommend I'd recommend giving it a watch. It's a very, very wonderful time. And then so on the olive, whoa, that one got crushed. So on the olive box, I clicked it when you, I made it. So when you click it, it, it pulls up Bingus. Because I love Bingus. I love Bingus. So when you said hairless cat, it reminded me of Bingus. It reminded me of the video of Bingus I linked in the description here. Uh, Bingus will always be a part of the channel. Bingus will always be a part of the channel. But uh, I, I have got a lot less love for Bingus recently after I adopted Olive. Bingus was my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I would look at, I have a picture of Bingus on my phone, I look at it, I go, oh god, I love Bingus. Oh, all of my fears and sorrows and worries have all just washed away with one look in Bingus's big, bright, beautiful kitty cat eyes. And then I got Olive, and I'm like, no, Bingus, not that Bingus ain't shit, but compared to Olive, a kitty cat that I love so much and I can hold in my own two hands and pet her and hear her purr and feed her, you know? Uh, Bingus, Bingus ain't shit. <laughs> so, I'm saying, not, not that Bingus ain't shit, but Bingus ain't shit, you know? Because Bingus is just a silly little cat I can see in videos on my little TV screen. I can't hold Bingus. I can't snuggle Bingus. I can't pet Bingus, you know? All of I can do all of that. So, sorry Bingus, but you've gone by the wayside. Just a bit. Just a bit. But no. However much I love Bingus, I love Olive m orders of magnitude more. So it's okay. It's okay. And I still love Bingus. I still love Bingus. That's actually because, uh, last... No, I haven't let bro. It was like two years... Maybe even three years. However long ago it was, damn. Uh, I got a uh, an allergy test on my arm where they put the little dots in your arm, and they went, "Yeah, you're allergic to trees." That's what they said. They used the term trees, dust. Which just like, all right, dust. That makes sense. And then cats. I'm allergic to cats. And I'm like, how could that be? How could that ever possibly be? I've never experienced any allergy with any pet of any kind. I was like, damn it, that sucks. Because I wanted to to adopt a pet. I'm in a pet friendly community. I guess I can't adopt the cat. So then if I was to adopt the cat, I'd adopt the Bingus. I'd get a hairless cat. I'd get a Sphinx cat. What do you think? Oh, a Sphinx. It originates from Egypt. No, it originates from, like, Montana or something. It originates from the northwestern United States. Because, like, uh, they're actually pretty recent. Like, a couple was like, yo, our cat's fricked up and weird looking. What the hell is this? And so they kept breeding that cat with other ones. But then these are trucks. Truck, truck. But what the hell is up with that, head-ass nerd? Why can't you send trucks in anymore? That's messed up. That's messed up. You know what? Let me fix this right now. I'm gonna fix this right freaking now. You gotta be. If we on Mother Trucking Tuesday, you better believe we gotta send those trucks in. God damn it. Mozilla Firefox, get down over here. Get your ass over here. I gotta edit my Twitch settings. All right. Back to Twitch. Don't worry. We're gonna make this work. I'm gonna make this work right here, right now. Don't you worry. Channel. All right. Give me one second, pretty please. Or multiple. I, I would most likely need multiple seconds. Apologies for that. Whoa, we watching my stream now. That's that's trippy. That's a little trippy. All right, uh, let me focus. Um, settings. Sorry, I, I don't know Twitch too well. Uh, channel and videos. Hell yeah, we we go get this work. We go get this work. Uh, viewer rewards, emotes. Here we go. Wait a second. How the hell do you? Have... Whoa, 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 whoa. So truck is a tier one subscriber emote and so is howdy so how the hell do you have access to howdy but not truck that's messed up that's messed up wait head out what does it even it doesn't even have you as a subscriber how the hell do you have access to howdy but not truck 
All right, well, that's confusing. That's confusing. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of swapping. I use the channel points to unlock the emote. That's why. Oh, you know what, headass nerd? Just for you. Just for you. Just for you. We're we're we're, we're changing this. We're changing it. Truck. Truck is now a follower emote. Truck is now a follower emote. There you go. Now you can use truck to your heart's content. There we go. Let me update this really quick. Let me update this really quick. Hit remove from slot. And let me make you. Come on. Let me just freaking. All right. Sorry. This is taking me a moment. This is taking me a moment. Not. I'm bad at doing this. I'm bad at Twitch. There we go. There we go. Ah, how about that? How about them apples, huh? How about them apples, huh? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Let me know if that works. Send me some trucks in the chat so I know that works, baby. Send me some mother trucking trucks in that mother trucking chat. Let's see. Um, it should work now, right? It should work. Truck, truck, yeah, truck, 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 truck. We did it. We did it, fellas. We got trucks in the chat. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Because it's mother trucking Tuesday. Hell yeah, head ass nerd, that's what we love to see, baby. Thank you for stopping by on this mother trucking Tuesday. That's so sad. We picked some random ones, so I got truck the first couple times I did. Hell yeah. Truck, 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 truck. We love trucking on mother trucking Tuesday, baby. You better not, you better not mess with truck, you silly little white car. I'ma mow you down. I'm going to find out where you live. I'm going to find out where you park. I'm going to find out where you fuel up for gas. And I'm going to find out exactly where the hell you thought it was the damn good idea to cut off truck on Butter Truck and Tuesday. <laughs> Baby. All right, I've got a little bit of a headache now. We're going we're gonna to stop screaming for just a little bit. Just a wee bit of time. All right, so thank you, Headass Nerd, for stopping by. Um, actually, I'm trying to gauge... In, I'm trying to gauge interest on a couple of ideas here, headass nerd. Cause uh, I know, I know that you enjoyed the Five Nights at Freddy's stream the other day. So, hear me out. Hear me out. What if? Cause that was just supposed to be a one-time 100 follower special thing, right? But we enjoyed ourselves. We had fun. Although I, although I hate being scared and screaming and being a little pissy pants baby boy, it was fun. It was fun. So, what if on Friday nights? We had ourselves a Friday night fright. And then on Friday nights, we play horror games. And I get scared, because I'm a little bitch, you know? What if? What if- Yeah, just I put the goddamn- Oh, God, I'm on a damn- Oh, that would be epic. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, head ass nerd. Thank you for the feedback. I'm trying to gain interest on some things, so I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Because on Friday nights, there's a lot of- Oh, yeah, there are. And I haven't played any of them. So if anyone knows any scary, because I am a little scaredy baby boy, all right? So, Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm shitting myself, I'm pissing myself, I'm crying, you know? Putting my hands on my face like a little freaking peekaboo baby, right? You're not the only one who gets scared, though. I know I'm not the only one who gets scared, but I just get scared easily. I get startled, you know? I get startled. Like, I, t I told you, my boss just, like, came up to me behind the other, was like, hey there. I'm like, huh? So... But if there's any game, any game that you know in particular that you would like to see me uh, get scared in, send it here. Let me know so I can uh, get that pulled up for Friday Night Frights. Ah, oh, it's in my eyes. In my eyes. Huggy Wuggy. Huggy Wuggy. That's one I've heard of before. So yeah, I don't know what that game is about. It kind of looks like Five Nights at Freddy's where there's like a big fuzzy thing going to kill you. But I don't know anything about it other than that. So that could be one. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for the suggestion. I appreciate it. <gasps> Snorlax? I didn't even realize. Snorlax, how is it going? How are you doing? Your, your, your text was the... Snorlax, your username was the exact same length as Headass Nerd and also the exact same color. So I just saw that and went, oh, okay. I guess that's Headass Nerd again. No, it's Snorlax. Welcome. How's it going? Not only did we have Hugh join us for the first time in a while, we had Snorlax join. And how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I was also getting worried about you as well. I was like, man, I hope Snorlax is all right, but it seems like you are. Welcome, Snorlax. I hope you're having a good one. I think the first one is free. What do you mean the first one is free? The first horror game? I'm doing good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Snorlax. 
Welcome to Mother Trucking Tuesday, baby. We out here trucking. We out here grinding. We out on the road. Look at that beautiful sun coming over those beautiful mountains in this beautiful desert. Okay, the desert's kind of ruined by those power lines right there. But after we pass those power lines. One sec, one sec, one sec. Do, 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 do. Ah, it hit me in the face! Now it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Those goddamn power lines damn near decapitated me. God damn. <laughs> First Huggy Wuggy game they have. Oh, wait, they got a bunch of Huggy Wuggy? Oh, damn, I didn't even know about that. Fatal Frame scared the shit out of me, though. Well, perfect. I love... Thank you for... Snorlax, Snorlax. So, you're saying you're not the only one who gets scared. What if we got scared together? I'm saying, because... We, uh, Snorlax, you remember. You remember. We'd have... It would, it would be called Fucked Up Fridays or Fricked Up Fridays, right? Because I'd just show up drunk. I would just show up drunk and I, I would just be drunk doing whatever. But, I, I, you know, I wasn't really feeling that too much. So what if now we have... We got, like, Friday Night Frights or Frightful Friday or Fearful Friday or something, right? Yeah, good times. We used to drink a lot on the street. It wasn't just like, oh, yeah, you get to choose a silly hat. It's like, no, we took a shot every new follower. And so we had people... I mean, we had Big Daddy. We had Big Daddy coming to just follow and unfollow. To just keep take, making me take shots, you know? Those were times. Those were good times. But, uh... We might do another stream like that soon. But, uh... Not just every single Friday. Or I guess every single stream if you were doing it for the new followers. But, uh... So, how about that, huh? Friday Night Frights, where we play spooky horror games on Friday nights. And I scream and I cry and I piss and I moan and I get scared. What the... What the hell is this? You ain't telling me we stuck into a goddamn weigh-in station now. Oh, hell no. Oh. Hell no. You better not be stuck on this goddamn thing. Or I'ma turn this truck around and head on home. Although, I don't even know if I have a home. The truck is my home. I turn the truck around, guess what? I'm already home. The truck keeps going forward, guess what? I'm already home. The truck stays stagnant, the truck flips up in the air, it crashes, it explodes, it burns into a million goddamn pieces, I'm at home. I don't care if I'm also burned to a crisp, you know, I'm at home in my truck. God, I love trucking. Love trucking on mother trucking Tuesday! Well, we going too goddamn slow, we better be going faster. Go, 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 go! Alright, well, this truck ain't listening to me. I better goddamn whip this truck up into shape or else we are gonna be going at a snail's pace until the end of time. A time with Thomas. So yeah. Also Snorlax. I got a quick question. Snorlax, I know you know these silly hats on the wall. Pretty pretty okay. I mean, cause cause you've been here for a while. You you've seen the silly hats. If you could have one silly hat from the wall, what would it be? What would it be? What would it be, Snorlax? If you were to give me your opinion on that, I would like to know. Same thing with you, head-ass nerd. Or anyone else who's here. If you know of a silly hat that you'd like to have, like to own, be able to wear it yourself, know that it came from that Snorlax. <laughs> okay, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's literally Snorlax. Because I'm thinking. We currently... We got a charity fundraiser going. We just started it. So it's at zero dollars. You know, we just started it. I'm thinking, what if, in order to incentivize people donating, right, to the charity stream, every time you donate to the charity... Your name gets put in to a raffle. And if you get picked, you gotta choose your own silly hat from the silly hat wall to keep. And then it'll be yours. You know? What if? What if? That I feel like that would maybe get people going and think like, alright, maybe I should donate. Because right now you see like, oh, I could donate, that'd be nice. But then that's it. You know, there's there's not really much of a reason to donate other than donating. What if I gave you a reason to? You could win a silly hat. I could think that could be a thing, you know? You'd be able to own that Snorlax hat. So like I I wouldn't like if it was anyone else I don't think I'd give them the Snorlax hat I don't I I don't know if I could part ways with the Snorlax hat it's too good I love that Snorlax hat and I've got a Snorlax shirt I've got a Snorlax shirt and a Snorlax hat you know it goes so well together especially the color scheme I mean Snorlax colors so I don't know if I could give that Snorlax hat away to anyone but if I was to give it away to you how time deciding what you wanted to give yeah right right but I think now I think now it'd be worth it especially if it's for charity I I would do it I would do it and like for you Snorlax I'd give you the Snorlax hat. Especially because you are literally the first follower. So yeah, no, 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 no. We were just talking earlier. This is the this stream. We've had our both our first follower and our 100th follower join. Well, Kote Takashi, they were here for a while, but they left Snorlax. So uh, you, they weren't here at the same time, but still it's the same stream. That's freaking crazy, my goodness. A battle of the ages, so to speak. 
More like uh, the, the SpongeBob episode. Where, when worlds collide. Yes, when worlds collide. Nice. Nice. Who would have thought? We're here. 100 follow 106 followers. That's crazy. Time flies. Time flies. So, yeah. It's not official yet for the uh, Silly Hat giveaway for the charity. We'll, uh, we'll work on that. Um, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow. Because Wednesdays are usually off day. Because I, I streamed Saturday. I streamed Sunday. I streamed Monday. And now I'm streaming Tuesday. I've streamed every day. So, I, I, a little break sounds nice. Sounds like a good idea, though. Hell yeah, Snorlax. Thank you. Appreciate appreciate the feedback. Because uh, the Silly Hats is a big thing. Maybe that or... You know what we could do? We could do... Because I wouldn't want just one. We could do like a runner-up prize where the the second person gets to choose a book, gets to choose like one of the one of the uh, one of the books that we got. Because you know anyone could get you can get any book anywhere. It's Mana Talking Tuesday. Hell yeah, head ass nerd, you're goddamn right. Cause do you know what today is? If you forgot, let me kindly remind you folks. It's Mana Talking Tuesday. Hell yeah, to all damn people watching. We actually got five viewers. That's crazy. Five viewers on a mother trucking Tuesday. How? Did not mean for that to happen. We got to be a little bit more stealthy than that. If we're going to run cars off the road, we got to do it better than that. Wow, this is beautiful. The way that the shimmering waves shine up into our eyes from the beautiful reflections of the clouds up high is like poetry in motion. Except it's not poetry, it's goddamn water. And we are goddamn trucker, trucking through the goddamn desert. So how the hell is there that much water in the desert? I don't know. I don't know. Climates do be crazy. That climate do be changing. Do be do by wah. Do by do by wah. Road safety is no accident. You know what's an accident? Me. Oh yeah, I'm an accident waiting to happen. Every goddamn moment of my day, a little slip here. A little slip there, and guess what? Someone's decapitated. Just happens. Just happens. It's not. It's not my fault, except that it is. <laughs> but guess what? There ain't no laws in this world. This world is my world. Now we're gonna truck until we die, and guess what? We can't die, cause there ain't no laws of nature in this world aside from friction and gravity and also most other laws of physics <laughs> but death death don't define me the only thing that defines me are these paved streets i can truck on to my heart's content other than that there ain't nothing nothing in this goddamn trucking universe that can stop me not even a stop sign not even a red light not even a police barricade gonna stop us from trucking to a heart's content every goddamn place we want to go but the invisible barrier. The invisible barriers do indeed stop me because I just can't go there. That that's not that that's just that's just, you know, the world telling me, alright, you can't go here. You can't go here. Guess what? Well, I respect that. I respect that. That's that mother nature shit telling me. Truck, if you go down this goddamn path, you ain't gonna like what you gonna find. You ain't gonna like it, truck, I'm telling you that right now. And I'm like, alright then. I'm just gonna keep trucking on the roads that I do like trucking on, like this one. I kind of want to truck on that one. Let's truck on that one. <laughs> There's too many goddamn bushes in the way. We ain't going to truck on that road right now. How about now, though? I think we can truck on that road now. Just because I can. Because I feel like it. How is it going? Out no, don't you merge into my lane! <laughs> okay. It's okay. We survived. And guess what? We back on the main road now, baby. We do what we want. And we survive. And we thrive. Oh, hell, goddamn 6% damage. Get your little trucking car ass out of here. God, mother trucking damn. Truck, 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 truck. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I gotta clip that one. I gotta clip that one. After all that, no way I'm not clipping that one. Ugh. All right, I'm also gonna take a little hydration break. Because, boy, is my throat in need of some water after that. Oh, I love water. Whether it's on the ground in a beautiful, you know, body of water, or if it's in my body of water. Wait a second. Are we considered bodies of water? Okay, if you were to be a body of water, what would you be? Would you be a reservoir? Would you be an underground pool? <gasps> Ooh, would you be an ocean? 
I don't know. Maybe a little pond. Maybe just a nice little, like, tranquility pond, you know? I don't know. Maybe a water fountain. I don't think a water fountain would, would count as a body of water. Unless you make a really big water fountain. Then potentially, so. Potentially. But if I was to be a body of water, I'd be water under the bridge. Because then I still get to be with my trucks over my bridge, see them pass by, you know. Maybe a truck falls into me every now and then, and then I get my own little truck for all of eternity, you know. I'd be water under the bridge. That's the water I would be. <laughs> That's so goddamn dumb. Underground pool. So when someone finds me, ooh, Snorlax, what are they going to do when someone finds you? That kind of rhymed. They're going to find those really specific niche my, like organisms that only exist inside of you and nowhere else because you're so special maybe maybe uh. Uh. <laughs> excuse me i'm sorry except i'm not sorry because i don't give a mother trucking damn uh. <laughs> That one wasn't a perfect, just... Those are just noises. I can see someone left after I started doing those noises, and I don't blame them. Yeah, it's alright. That's okay. I still got my friends here. And even if I didn't have anybody here, I wouldn't care. I'll make all the silly goddamn noises I want. Cause it's Motor Truckin' Tuesday. We can be as crude and rude as mean as we damn well please, cause this is our turf, this is our road. And Snorlax, you are your own goddamn underground pool. I hope it's beautiful. I hope it's a beautiful oasis of life. Or maybe no life, maybe nothing can live, maybe you're inhospitable. No, I don't know. <coughs> maybe you're toxic. Huh? Maybe. Maybe just maybe. You're home to a whole new form of life. A Pokemon of sorts. Maybe a Snorlax? <gasps> I mean, water bears do exist. And a water bear is basically just a tiny little Snorlax looking thing. So, maybe. Maybe just maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That was a little thing. We were going over this last time. If I was a ball pit, what ball pit would I be? <laughs> I feel like there's a lot more choices for body of water than just ball pit, though. Because a ball pit's just a ball pit. It's a bit with balls in it. But what type of balls and what type of pit? What's the size? What type of people are in this ball pit? Is it like a company ball pit? <laughs> yes, we have ourselves a company ball pit that you can that you can enter if you use your key card. And then you may enter the ball pit for no longer than 15 minutes. The balls are all black and white. And they all have microchips in them, so we'll know if you steal them. Oh, we missed minute 69. God, mother truck and damn. It's okay. We've been having a whole lot of fun here. Thank you, everyone, for joining today. I appreciate it. I love when we got people out here messing around, having fun, being silly, talking about random shenanigans. That's what I love. That's my bread and butter. And I know I love bread, and I know I love butter. And I sure as hell love bread and butter, so thank you very much for making me a little happy trucker boy. Oh, man, I'm a man. Look at all this chest hair. Do I not look manly enough with all this chest hair? Look at that. You can... Damn it. Um, you'd have to count this on maybe maybe two hands. I don't know. I've never counted my chest hair. But no, I've literally never shaved here ever. That's just that's just how it's been all my life. Like, I remember in high school, someone's like, Oh, why didn't you shave your chest? I'm like, no, it's just always been like this. I got a little baby body. That goes my little baby brain. That just gets scared when I hear a f f freaking Freddy Fazbear come after me. Actually, Freddy Fazbear is the one damn animatronic that didn't kill us. All the other ones did. Foxy did, Chica did, and Bonnie did. Uh, oh, well, maybe one day, maybe one day, Freddy will slay us. But I'm thinking, for Friday Night Frights, would I just play any horror game I want any day, or should I actually like, try to beat one horror game first? Like, we'd have to beat Five Nights at Freddy's before we go into the next one. But I think we'd get to a horror, horror game that I just wouldn't be able to beat. And then I'm just screwed and that's it. I gotta play that one for forever. <laughs> nah, we'd probably just move on and do whatever the hell we want to do. But for Friday Night Frights, we'll, we'll just keep... We'll, we'll do... If I am to do that this Friday, which I, I think I probably am. Try to beat one first. 
So I think we gotta try to beat Five Nights at Freddy's first. We'll be doing that. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can do that Friday. I mean, we already got to night four. We already got to night four, so we're doing pretty damn well. But it's gonna get really hard, so, uh, yeah. We gotta play, we gotta play that one. And we gotta play the other ones. That's the one that freaking Hugh recommended, where you make your own artificial grandpa. I gotta play that one, you know? I don't know, or you grow, you grow your own grandpa? That's freaking creepy as hell. At least it sounds creepy. So, we gotta play that. We gotta play so many. Maybe maybe not so, so many. <laughs> we become the next big horror streamer. No, ain't no way. I'm just gonna be a little freaking screamy baby. When I said as old as fuck. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Well, how old are we talking? How old are we talking? Is it older than me? How old are we talking? Doesn't matter how old it is. I'm talking PS1. <laughs> Well, then I don't know how I'm gonna... Is it available on, on the PC? Can I get it on Steam or something? Or is it just... Oh, yeah, PS1 and that's it. Because I we have a PS2 back home, but I think we actually sold it, so I don't even know if we have the PS2 anymore. <laughs> yeah, PS1 is pretty old. PS1's pretty old. Not not too, too old, but yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty old. What's the oldest horror game? What's the oldest horror game? Hmm. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the oldest horror game. Maybe it's... I don't know. I don't know. God damn it. I'm trying to think of just like the oldest games. Isn't silence in these streams so weird? I'm just constantly talking, so just... I, I want to make that a redeem. I think that'd be a fun redeem idea. Just like, shut the fuck up. That's a redeem. I just don't talk for a minute. Right? <laughs> Mystery House, 1980? I mean, that, okay, that's pretty damn old. That's pretty damn old. That's, when so when, when Snorlax said old as fuck, that, that's old as fuck. That is old as fuck. That thing damn near older than my... Actually, I can't really think of anyone that was born in the 80s right off the top of my head. So I, I, I was going to keep going, but I couldn't think of anything or anyone. So, whoopsie doopsie. Bro, our guy got to sleep again? Are you kidding? We already went to sleep. What the hell is your problem, dude? How am I supposed to... What the hell are you on about, man? We just went to sleep. God mother trucking, damn it. God mother trucking, damn it, bro. All right, well, we can truck for a little bit longer before this guy got to fall asleep, but we got to figure out where the hell the next bed is. We might just see you so quiet for a minute. Well, that's why I'm thinking it'd be a fun redeem, because I'm also thinking about what the redeems are going to be. You know, like, we'll, we'll we'll have ones that are just, like, one bit or, like, one channel point. So you can just keep spamming them. Ones that are easy, like, burp. You know, like, that's easy. I can do that infinitely. So that would be a really cheap channel point. That if anyone wants to just hear a little burp real quick, I do it, you know. Or like, do a silly voice or something, you know. that that That's cheap and easy. Drink some water, cheap and easy, you know. And then shut the fuck up. I want that one to be expensive, though. That one's got to be expensive, you know. Big burp. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what we're talking about. I'm not even sure. It's Apple II? That horror game came out on the goddamn Apple II? God, motherfucking damn. It's on my bandware. I love that. When people try to like, oh, my eyes hurt, my eyes hurt. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Give my eyes a rest for a second here, huh? Oopa doopa. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, all right. No, I love seeing people trying to archive things that like really matter to them. Ah, like old games. Like I was working with my professor. I was a I was my professor's assistant for a while. He was working on a project where he archived, you know, old media that showed the. Uh, uh, subjugation and just outright torture and enslavement of the Filipino people from uh, late 1800s, you know, and it's messed up. It's messed up. So I love that project. Man, I didn't love that project, but I really admired the passion behind it. Is a better way of wording it. So stuff like that, love that. When you're trying to save this one thing that you really care about, so like yeah, yeah, my abandonware, love that. Looks like text adventure with some graphics. That sounds exactly like what the oldest horror game would be. 
That sounds exactly like the oldest horror game. Just a little text adventure. Something like, uh, oh, what the hell is that? Oh, you know, one of those other text adventures. Like, you know, the one that they have in Tom Hanks Big. You know, he's like, slay the dragon. Enter the cave, you know, where you just type in the command of what you want to do. And you have a very limited set of commands that you can do at the time, you know. I've wanted to play a game like that. That just seems like a fun, comfy time. But, you know, I haven't gotten to that yet. I still haven't even beaten goddamn Breath of the Wild after all this time. I really need a bit of Breath of the Wild. We're actually getting close. We're getting close. After all that money we made, we can get the armor to go into Death Mountain, and then we can take on Valrudania. Take on the Divine Beast. Yep, standard tech adventure. They can be difficult. Oh, yeah, no, they can be difficult. So, like... Because back then, there wasn't really a grasp on how difficult a game should be, how difficult it can be. So it's like, yeah, just just make the video game. Just make the video game, you know? You gotta just make the video game. But, you know, it, the passion project, they want to make it. Because the people making the game, they understand how it works, how, how to do it. But when it comes to the consumer, the consumer's like, um, what? What? And then they, they, they just get screwed over, and they die. And they don't know how to continue, you know? There wasn't a whole lot of, you know, difficulty scaling back then, I don't suppose. Not a whole lot to work off of. Alright. Speaking of not a whole lot to do, we gotta get this boy into bed. Gotta pull up the covers and kiss his little forehead, cause he's a little freaking little nappy baby, just like all of his. He needs his beauty sleep, he needs his truck and sleep. That's why they had instruction manuals. And helpline. Isn't that crazy they had helplines back in the day? I know, but where you'd call up the number. It's like, hey, I'm having trouble with the Legend of Link. Can you help me out? And they're like, sure. What do you need help with? I remember when I... I kind of did that. When uh, I was playing, uh, like, the earlier Pokemon games, right? Like, when I was a little kid and when it first came out. Like, when Pokemon Diamond first came out, I didn't know how to Google stuff. You know what I had? On my phone, it was that you could text Ask Jeeves. You remember Ask Jeeves? They had a little phone line that you could text, like, questions for. So I'd be like, how do you get this item in Pokemon Diamond, Mr. Jeeves? And they'd be like, sure thing, Thomas. We'll help you out. What are you looking to do? That, that was that was so... That was just such a cool thing. An archaic practice lost to time, you know? Do not enter. Well, hell no. I'm already entered. What the hell are you going to do about it? They ain't gonna do nothing. Ah, <sighs> yeah, ain't no way I'm ever texting Ask Jeeves again. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know that service is still available. All right, bro, right, you can just ask AI stuff now. <laughs> who's, who's texting Ask Jeeves? I mean, is that could that be considered early AI? Um, Jeeves. God damn, bro, just get out of here. Oh, we not gonna open his stop signs. No! No! The damn stop sign fricked us over! God damn it, stop sign! Why do I even get gas? I didn't need gas! God, mother trucking, damn it. Jeeves retired. Oh, yeah, I, I, I know Jeeves was a search engine. Ask Jeeves, like, the, uh, the web search that you could do. But I didn't have a computer. I, I, I didn't have access to the internet. I couldn't search anything. I just had my, uh, it wasn't even my phone. It was like I'd use my mom's phone to, to like, Ask Jeeves. Excuse me, Jeeves. How do I get this freaking goddamn truck goddamn unstuck? Oh. You know, I'm really breaking the first commandment a whole lot. No, wait. Is that the... No, that's not that one. Is that the... Thou shalt not use my name in vain. <laughs> Saying a whole lot of God. God, what a truck and damn. All right. But yeah, no, I could So that's why I had to use the little Ash Jeeves on the phone because I we just, just didn't didn't compute, couldn't compute. And now computing is my whole freaking line of work. Ain't that crazy? And now, kid, you're just born with an iPad in your hands. You're born like here's an iPad, little Jimmy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I will go play Angry Birds. It's funny, even doesn't have. I never saw him responded to. You got. If you, if you find an old email that you didn't respond to, you kind of have to respond to it. Even if it's from over a decade ago, you, it's just, that's just proper manners. They, they're still, they're, they're probably waiting on your response. They're probably just waiting on your response. But no, I go, I look through my old emails, and I see emails I sent. I'm like, how the hell did I, 
What the hell is this? Oh, damn it. Oh, there, we, there was our chance. There was our chance to sleep. Come on. Come on. Bring us back. Bring us back. Let me sleep. 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 Yes. Oh, hell yeah. But now we're probably going to be late for our goddamn delivery. That sucks. That really sucks. That's okay, though. Because now our boy's not going to pass out on the road no more. But how do I... Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Left? Slash... East? I hate that. I'm bad with directions. They're like 30... 31 now. It was an old friend from a video game. Aww. That's nice. Damn it. Ow! Really? That bush hurt me that... No way in hell that tiny little goddamn shrub is hurting this big old truck. Ain't no way in mother truck in hell is that going on. Maybe I can re- oh, Bro, the save is from like four minutes ago. God, mother truck and damn it. But no, I, I remember that. You'd have to like email a friend from a video game. Because I would go to like Catholic camp, right? And we just like, oh, can, can I give you my email and we can talk? Like old friends you see at... Like at a hotel one time, and you want to speak to them because you had fun with them that time. And like, man, I'd love to keep being friends with you. Let's let's stay in touch, you know. And you exchange emails, and then you net you you send one, be like, oh hey, it's me, and then you never talk to them again. Oh, sad, 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 sad. You know, they probably don't want to be friends, but I feel it's the right thing to respond. Not sure if they use the email still. That's also a very valid thing. Maybe even that email service is down. What if they're using Hotmail? No, Hotmail's still around. But there's definitely some. There gotta be some email services that just at one point you use them, and now they're gone. Like, my family, our email address for the longest time was Optimum, so we had optonline.net. Oh, Yahoo. All right, that's that's in business. Yahoo is still in business. And Bing is back in business, baby, with all this AI development. Who would have thunk Bing making a comeback? Like, God, mother trucking damn. Especially, like, so huge in such a short time just because of, uh, you know, their little, little goofy chat bot. God damn. I'm calling it goofy. Not even sure how to respond with your heart and with your mind. Just be true to yourself, and your 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 fingers will guide you to the right words on the keyboard. Or just send him a GIF of like a like a monkey or something. <laughs> That's what I do. That DVD is useless for com complex stuff like this, of course, of course. Chat GPT. Um, how do I respond to an old friend? They give you a very heartfelt, long response. I'm like, nah, just send him a monkey gif. Just send them a monkey gif. That's the way. Who doesn't love seeing a little goofy monkey just flinging itself around or doing something silly? Not me. I mean, not not me. I love seeing a little silly monkey. Everyone needs a little silly monkey gif every now and then, you know? It was. It was a... 2011 is a time fog. Even like 20... Just everything before 2020 is a time long gone. This is a whole different age now. A whole different age. Like 2016 came, and then 2020 came, and now it's going to be 2024. So what the hell are we in store for this year? I was 12, and they were 16 to 17, I think. Yeah, that's usually how it is. You get that like older online friend, but I didn't really have many online friends like that. Amazing how Maple Story brings in all ages. It does. Truly, truly. But I'm trying to think, because I, I know other people I know, like, oh, I got my friends from my Halo forum from when I was a kid that I, I knew, like, oh, this, like, 20-year-old dude from Slovakia, and, th and, this, and this guy from, from Georgia, you know? I didn't, I didn't really have any online friends like that, because I didn't play many online games. They know my real name, too. Ooh. No one else does. No one here does. Once again, if you think you know Cable Hugh, you are wrong. You can make all the assumptions you want. Like, birthday? Maybe, maybe we don't even know your gender. I don't know, I don't know. I've been assuming a whole lot of things, and I've been a whole lot wrong, so. This is my first name as my name. <laughs> Maybe it's okay. Oh, that makes sense, that makes sense. And I never really... I was very afraid of using my name for, uh, for on online things for a long while. I really did not want anyone knowing my name. You know my gender. All right, see that, that, confirmed. Cable Hugh confirmation right there. Cable Hugh is a man. We have talked a lot. I have, working at the KFC drive-thru, I have heard so many people with so many voices 
And then they show up to the window. I'm like, wow, you are the exact opposite of what I thought you were. I'm like, oh, who the hell is this? This really, really, really freaking, like, you think, oh, huh. This, this lady, this lady seems like she is, she is of African descent. And then they pull up and it's a scrawny little white dude. And you're like, wow, that is the exact opposite of who I thought. You've literally seen me too, I think. I think I have. I know I've talked with you, obviously. But... Seen you? I probably have. But I can't recall off the top of my head. Don't worry. Stuff like that? Stuff like that? I forget. Remember how bad my voice is? Well, I got to, oh, God. Oh. Oh, yeah. And then how bad your face got after you got freaking frostbite? Oh, I'm still... So think about that, Abel. You, I hope you like fully recover. And your, how bad your tongue got after you got freaking chemical burns? Like Mike, Hugh, you've been through quite a bit. You've been through quite a bit. Also, Hugh, I could tell. Remember? I, oh wait, one second, one second. I, I don't know if I've actually told you this. I mean, I, I might have, probably have, but uh, because for a long time I never caught COVID. I never, ever, ever caught COVID up until a month ago. I thought, hell yeah. Hell yeah! Let's go, Hugh. We love to hear that. Our our boy is healthy. Yay! But I I never had COVID. I never had COVID until my birthday. Yep. Yep. Because the day after my birthday, or maybe the two days after, whatever it was, I tested positive, and now I can't say I've never had COVID. And it didn't mess me up too much. I had a very benign version of it where I just had like a little cough and that was it. COVID is terrible. I almost died. See, it depends on, like, I have two uncles. One uncle that's really fit and he works as a security guard. That COVID knocked his ass out. He was bedridden for weeks. He lost 20 pounds. He was constantly like vomiting and shitting and it was disgusting, you know? He was put through the ringer. Like you. Like you. It like completely destroys you. And then I have my other uncle, who I don't know has ever worked out in his life. Got a little beer belly, looks lanky, you know? I mean, just like a normal guy, normal guy. He didn't even know he had COVID. He caught COVID and didn't know it and tested weeks later. And was like, oh yeah, you had COVID a while ago. And he's like, oh, I didn't notice. I'm sorry that happened to you. That's terrible. Never wish that on anyone. I got, I got the light COVID. I got the light COVID. But I've seen what COVID can do to people, and it can mess you up, so... Sorry to go through that, but now you're back. And now you can walk again. You can walk into the town. You can walk to your classes. And you can talk to people without fearing about getting them sick. I love it. You forget how, like, how much you can do until you can't do it. And you're like, oh, no. I can't even scratch my foot. Oh! You know? Like, getting up to go to the bathroom. There was one. I got injured. My goddamn wrestling coach injured me because he's uh, kind of a freak. I, I, yeah, I, he's kind of a freak. He injured me. My coach injured me because he was practicing on me. It wasn't even like he was practicing with me to get me better. It's like he was practicing on me. Like he had something to prove. I'm like, dude, I'm just a kid. I know I'm a big goofy kid who, who weighs a lot, but uh, it doesn't mean you can break my leg. He didn't literally break my leg, but you know, I was out of commission for a while. I couldn't, my leg hurt so much, I couldn't even get up to go to the bathroom. I had to like hold my leg up and I had to like scoot off my bed onto like my, uh, you know, my rolling chair, and I'd, like, rolling chair myself to the bathroom with my leg up, and I'd, like, piss, like, from the chair. It was horrible. So, it, you don't realize how, you know, good you have things until they're gone, you know? So, sorry to go through that, Hugh, but, you know, you're over it, and you're healthy, and you're recovered again. So, hell yeah. Hell yeah. We love that. We love that. Oh, man. Only got another hour and 50 minutes trucking left to go. Well, it's truck time, so... This has been a good amount of time for trucking, you know? Because uh, our, our last couple of truck streams kind of ended short. I was like, damn, this is, this is going by a little bit too fast. But this one, this one's a good length. This one feels good. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. But we're nearing the end here, so I know it's getting late for uh, some of y'all. Oh, can play Kirby Amazing Year? I can play. Yeah, go play. Go play, Cable Hugh. Go play yourself some Kirby Amazing Mirror Online. Have some freaking fracking fun. Play any goddamn Kirby game you, you, uh, you please. You have free will. 
I'd like to think. But again, I can't make assumptions, because I don't even know. I don't even know no more. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. And also, like, I, I want to go back to this earlier. Like, when I said, oh, yeah, sounds like a black lady, just a little scrawny white guy. That's a lit that's a direct example. Like, that is, that's a very vivid example of someone who sounded a certain way, and then I saw them like, wow, you are the exact opposite person I was thinking of. And that happens a lot, where you hear someone like, oh, this sounds like a sweet old lady. They come up, and it's like some just dude in his 40s that has a re really soft-spoken voice, or whatever, you know? Like, wow, people come in all shapes and sizes. Isn't that crazy? It's almost like everyone who's ever existed has ever existed. What? There's a whole lot of people out there, huh? A whole lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they're sure are. But so, I know it's getting late. I know it's getting late. So, once again, uh, not once again. Maybe not sure, once again. If anyone would like me to pull out the bedtime stories, read you a nice little book, whisper it, or maybe we do a little bit of deep voice reading, I would love to read you a bedtime story, lull you into a nice sleepy state. But if not, we're gonna keep on trucking, baby. We got one more hour left. And as soon as we done trucking, we are done. So, you want any bedtime stories read? You better let me know. You better let me know. But, you know, I will be asking again. I'll be asking again, so. Because I love reading stories. Especially if you are tired, and it'll help you get to sleep, you know? Just wind you down for the night. Because if we just end like, All right, Dad, say we're done trucking. Goodbye. You know, then you might be a little bit on the upside. Because, you know, we, we're still trucking. But just a bedtime story, one or two, or maybe even three, or four, or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-twenty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-twenty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-twenty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-twenty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-twenty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-ten, fifty-eleven, fifty-twelve, fifty-thirteen, fifty-fourteen, fifty-fifteen, fifty-sixteen, fifty-seventeen, fifty-eighteen, fifty-nineteen, fifty-twenty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-n
it's probably not exactly right, but it, it's just it's it, it's about like that. Because when I when I sat down and watched like Samurai Jack last the end of last year, man, so long ago now, it was so great. I loved watching Samurai Jack at night, but now it's over, and I can't do that anymore because I have to go into work early the next day, so I can't watch shows at night now. But every time the Samurai Jack theme would play, I would always I would always sing along with it, and I would do the Aku voice every single time, so I could get good at it. But I still can't get good. Because Aku, like the way I'm doing Aku's voice, I'm making him sound angry, like, THIS DAMN SAMURAI! That actually sounded better than how I would normally do it. But Aku is never, like, he never has a very angry intonation. He goes, WHAT? YOU'RE BACK ALREADY? He sounds more, like, bewildered, or like, you know, higher than you, mightier than thou. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't ever sound, like, too angry. I mean, he always sounds, he always sounds, like, angry. But you never hear him enraged, and that's the kind of voice I give Aku, when he really doesn't sound like that. He doesn't sound like that. You pick up on these things when you try to do the voice, and you're like, wow, I'm making him sound like, L he goes more like, long ago in a distant land, I, Aku. So he sounds more like that, not like the voice I do. But it's fun making Aku sound angry. And we're nearing the end here. Reminder, we are going to be reading some bedtime stories after we complete our trucking mission. So if you'd like to stay... Have a bedtime story read to you? Pick one out yourself. Let me know, and I will gladly... Farmington? Wow. I will gladly read you a little story. So I will be choosing a story. Maybe Hugh would like to choose, but if not, no worries, no worries, Hugh. I will pick out a wonderful story. Maybe even two, maybe even three. If you'd like to choose yourself, let me know. We're so close. One mile away, only seven minutes. I can see it. It's right there off into the distance. We're so close. Oh, good night, Moon's my favorite. Perfect. We'll be reading Goodnight Hugh. I mean, Goodnight Moon for Cable Hugh. Ah, uh, Goodnight good night Moon's a lovely story. You know what else I'd like? That one? Hmm. That one's like a really sleepy one. So we could save that one for... Oh, damn. How the hell did we get trailer damage from that? No goddamn way my trailer got... Ugh. Oh, God, mother trucking, damn it, bruv. Ugh. Oh. oh, well, we here... I ain't gonna be reloading to save, cause we already here. I mean, I could, but, uh, eh. Don't care. Alright, we're gonna pull a good night. What, 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 what do I think would pair well with Good Night Moon? I don't know. We'll have to pull the books and see. Ah, it's so close. Another. Another Mother Trucking Tuesday coming to an end. Oh, you hate to see it, but oh, you love to see it. Ah, now all we gotta do is turn in here, and that's it. We're done. So sad. So sad. Whoa! Ouch! First of all. Second of all. You know what? Actually, I, I just saw the autosave happen, so I'll go back to that last autosave. I'll go back to that last autosave. Yeah, like it happened this minute. I'm fine with that. But why the hell does it have the little little truck white line for me to park into? Oh, uh, I'm bad at parking the truck. It's okay. We are a master trucker. We'll figure it out. Don't matter how long it's going to take. And then after we finish parking, I'm going to read you a bedtime story. We're going to pull out Goodnight Moon and... If you would like, if any, if anybody else is out there that would love to suggest a bedtime story to read, I would be glad to read it. We'll be pulling out the stories in just a moment after I frickin' park this truck. Now I know that we gotta do real good parking. We gotta get ourselves at a good wide angle here. Oh, oh, pull in. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that turn. Oh, baby. This truck's slithering around like a beautiful majestic serpent right now. We're going through the grass, looking for the grasshopper to hunt. I'm good with Goodnight Moon. Hell yeah, Snorlax. Hell yeah. Thank you for reassuring me that good... Trailer damage! When the hell did that happen? No, no, no. We, we, we doing this. We doing this. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. God damn it. We were there. We were there. It was green. Oh, we green now. T for Thomas. D. Cool Blake. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And good work. Oh, man, we could have gotten in excellent without all that goddamn extra damage at the end. Wait, do we get level up? Hell yeah, baby! We are now professionals! <laughs> well done. I'm a professional. Let me button myself up. And now, 
be a professional. Uh, if you have any business inquiries, please contact me at my professional email account, truck trucks at truck.net. All right. What do we want? You know, I want some more fuel economy. Or just in time, what's that? You know what I want? I want more fuel economy. That's what I want. Ugh. All right. Well, we're done trucking. Good night, truck simulator. And good night, moon. So, let's take off the truck glasses and let's start speaking in a much more softer tone. Let's turn on our camera here. That is upside down, but that's exactly what we'd like. We want our camera to be upside down so you can see the book. Let's go to our little book reading view right over here. That is the hat view. That is our book view. Zoom out just a bit more. And now, let me show you all of our options for the bedtime story tonight. Let's pull out our little bedtime story books. Ah. Here they are. Now, let's go through them. If any of these sound like a wonderful story you'd love to have read, or even just an okay story that you'd be fine with having read, let me know, and I will gladly, gladly read. So, ah, from the top, we have What Are You? If We Hopped on Our Bike, Zachary Z. Packrat and His Amazing Collections, Stranger in the Woods, Ping, If You Give a Moose a Muffin, Baba Smart Sheep, Corduroy, there was an old lady who swallowed a cactus, Clifford the Small Red Puppy, Love You Forever, Little Red Riding Hood, and, of course, Good Night, Moon. Me han invitado una fiesta, Danny and the Dinosaur, Walpole, Twas the Night Before Christmas, There's a Fly Guy in My Soup, I Am a Bunny, Amelia Bedelia, Pete the Cat and the Surprise Teacher, Biscuit wins a prize, Biscuits stay at the farm, Ten apples up on top, uh, The cat in the hat, Mr. Brown can moo, can you? The best nest, One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, Harry the dirty dog, Green eggs and ham, The giving tree, One, two, three, With the notorious B.I.G. Little, the little reindeer, When the world is ready for bed, While the world is sleeping, Chicka, chicka, boom, boom, And your nose. So after reading all of these, you know what one I felt like reading? You know what one I really felt like reading? Because this is a book that I know I've read with you quite, quite a bit. I know, I've read this book quite a bit, but we haven't read it in quite a while, so I think it's about time we read Ten Apples Up on Top again. It's been a while, so I'd love to read that one. And I think we could choose one more story. Any other suggestions would be appreciated, but if not, let me ponder here for another moment. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe... You know what? I, I'm also kind of feeling Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. I'm feeling we could read Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. I think... I think that would be a good... I think that would be a good story to read. So, let's do it. Ah. And now, we have our selections for the night. Ah, unless there are any objections, this is what we shall be reading. So, let's get our camera on our beautiful selection of books over here. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Alright, let's pull in the mic just a little bit closer. Sorry, truck stream over. It's time to read bedtime stories. Time for stories. I know, it's so sad. No more truck. That's okay. I will regale you with stories such as Goodnight Moon, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, and Ten Apples Up on Top. So let's actually change the title of the stream really quick. Bedtime Stories. Oh, that is caps lock. <laughs> okay, let me fix that. Sorry. Bedtime stories. But as always, if you would like me to read another book, you are more than welcome to say so. Chatting. We are just chatting. And now. I'm thinking the order, the best order for these books would be starting off with Ten Apples Up on Top, because we're still in a bit of a higher mood right now. It can be a little bit louder, do some silly voices, you know. Don't have to be too quiet for this one. 
and then we'll read Goodnight Moon. And this one will do some nice, nice soft storytelling. And we'll end it off with Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. So yeah, basically the order that these are in right now. But if you would like any other books to be read, if you'd like, you know, another book, all you gotta do is say. But for now, let us begin with Ten Apples Up on Top. <clears throat> so, let's begin. Zoom in just a little bit more. There we go, there we go. And we will not turn on the night filter for right now. We can keep... Oh, I turned on the DPI a little bit too high. Whoops. We'll keep it normal. Normal brightness for now. Ten Apples Up on Top by Theo Lesig and illustrated by Roy McKee. Oh yeah, what voice are we going to give these characters, huh? One apple up on top. Two apples up on top. Look, you, I can do it too. Look, see, I can do three. Three, three, I see, I see. You can do three, but I can do more. You have three, but I have four. Look, see now, I can hop with four apples up on top. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. <laughs> All right. Look here, you two. See here, you two. I can get five on top, can you? I am so good, I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Bro, we had six viewers in here a second ago, and now we're down to two. Damn, I guess I suck at reading. Sorry. I'll try to get better. No, I won't. Seven apples up on top. I am so good, they will not drop. Five, six, seven. Fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, we are as good as you. Look, now we have seven, two. And now, see here, eight, eight on top. Eight apples up, not one will drop. The line doesn't have that many lines, so I gotta give him something. Eight, eight, and we can skate. Look now, we can skate with eight. I love the face the lion makes here. That's a great face. But I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. We can, we can, we can do it too. See here, we are as good as you. We are... Whoops. We are, we are all very good, I think. With nine, we all can hop and drink. Nine is very good, but then come on, and we will make it ten. Look, ten apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. Look out! No, look out! Look out! I see a mop! I will make those apples fall. Get out! Get out! You one and all! Come on! Come on! Come down this hall! We must not let our apples fall! Out of our way! We cannot stop! We cannot let our apples drop! This is not good. What will we do? They want to get our apples, too. They will get them if we let them come. We cannot let them get them. Look out! The mop! The mop! The mop! <laughs> and you cannot stop our apple fun. Our apples will not drop not one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have to make the apples fall. They m and then... They must not get our apples down. Come on, come on, get out of town. See, I'm a very... Oh, we haven't read this in a while. I'm rusty, I'm rusty. 
Apples, apples up on top. All of this must stop, stop, stop. Now all our fun is going to stop. Our apples all are going to drop. <laughs> Look, ten apples on us all. What fun! We will not let them fall. The end. <laughs> Sorry, that reading was so bad. <laughs> it's alright. We'll try. We'll try harder with the next book. Because our next selection, I feel like, will be a little bit better at reading. Because we have read this one recently. And I know exactly how I'm going to read it. Good night, moon by Margaret Wise Brown and pictures by Clement Hurd. For Maggie Chason. Now, let's begin. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of... The cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. And two little kittens and a pair of mittens. And a little toy house and a young mouse. And a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush and a quiet old lady who was whispering, Hush! Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Oh, wait. I'm realizing we could probably have the, uh, the dark thing on. Yeah, there we go. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. And good night, socks. Good night, little house, and good night, mouse. Good night, comb, and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady, whispering, Hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. Good night. <laughs> there we go. And that was Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown with pictures by Clement Hurd. And with that, we will be moving on to our last story of the night. But again, if you would like to make a suggestion, you are more than welcome to. You don't have to, but you are always welcome. Chicka chicka boom boom. Will there be enough room? All we have to do is zoom. There we go. Chick. So this one I would like to whisper because I do what I want. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. By Bill Martin Jr. And John Archambault. Illustrated by Lewis Ellert. Why am I going to so crazy good? I'm glad you get to experience it. Caitlin, that's lovely. H up the coconut tree. 
X, Y, Z. The whole alphabet of the oh no. Chicka chicka boom boom. Skit scattle scoodle doot flip flop flee. Everybody running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts. Hug their little dears that dust their pants. Help us up right A, B, C. Next from the pile up skin. Stub node, stub toad E and patched up F. Then comes G all out of breath. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted. Alley oop. Skit scat scoodle do flip flop flee. Who's coming? It's black eyed B. Q R S and loose tooth T. Then U V W wiggle jiggle free. Last to come X Y Z. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But chicka chicka boom boom. Look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare double dare you can't catch me. You to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom 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 boom. The end. <laughs> and there we have it. <clears throat> that was chicka chicka boom boom. Will there be enough room? By Bill Martin Jr. and John Archibald. With illustrations by Lewis Ellert. <clears throat> I guess that's the end of our stream here. And with that, let's head back to my face. Thank you very much for coming out here tonight. I really do appreciate it. Everyone who came out here, we had a lot of people. Thank you, Snorlax. Thank you, Hugh. Excuse me. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Snorlax. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, also... Headass Nerd, thank you, Headass Nerd, thank you, Fuzzy, and thank you as well, Code Takashi, with that Big Burp 100. Sure, sure thing. Ready, ready, ready? <coughs> one sec, one sec, one sec. It's, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I just need a warm up, I just need a warm up. <coughs> <laughs> what did I say? What did I tell you? I hope that was sufficient. <laughs> nice, Lowell. Thank you. Thank you, Snorlax. And with that burp, thank you very much to everyone who came out here tonight. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad, Snorlax and Hugh, you're doing all right. Because, uh, I care. I care. Maybe a lot. Maybe a little. Maybe just the right amount, but I do care. And with that, thank you. Have a great day, week, month, year, and rest of your life. And uh, good night, sleep tight, don't let the demons bite. And uh, can't wait to see you next time. Have a good one. Good night.